Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is the time of the month that we all look forward to. Well, hopefully we all look forward to. It is favorites time and I'm so excited. Once it hits like the end of the month, I'm like anticipating the release of all the favorites videos. I'm just like... I feel like... I didn't do my makeup that much this month, however, I still have like so many products. I have a lot of like rediscoveries, I don't have too many new things that I'm just like, but I have a couple of things that I want to talk about, so if you guys want to know what I've been loving for the month of May, then please just keep on watching. So I just want to talk about kind of my rediscoveries for the month. So first off, I've been loving this MAC Studio Finish Conceal and Correct Palette. And this is in the medium shade, right? Yeah, this is the medium shade. And I love, this is like the most beat up palette in the world. But I love every single shade in here for so many different reasons. I used to use NC30 the most, which is this. That's kind of awkward. This shade right here. But I also have it in like a single pan. So I was just like, let me not just use NC30 all day or day. So recently I've been using NW25, which is the more pink shade, under my eyebrows to clean them up and to highlight a little bit. Since you guys know I never use eyeshadow underneath my eyebrow. I just don't like it on myself. I personally, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I have been using NW25 and I love it so much. It is what I have underneath my eyebrows today. And I also use this, I think it's called Mid Yellow. Let's see. Yes, it's called Mid Yellow. I also use this Mid Yellow shade for a while this month. So this whole entire palette is just, it's just so good to me. And I use this shade, which is NW35. And W35, I use this to clean up my eyebrows on top just in case, like, I went a little crazy and, like, drew, like, horns on my eyebrow and I'm like, alright, I gotta cover that up. And I'll use this. And I love the consistency because it's kind of more on the dry side where the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones are a little bit more creamy and, like, they stay creamy. Like, I feel like they don't set underneath my eyebrow and I don't like that look. So I feel like these set and since they're a drier formula, they don't look super shiny and like weird throughout the day. So I've been loving this Studio Correct and Conceal palette by MAC. I guess sticking with like the complexion, there's some more oldies but goodies. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm rediscovering everything in my collection recently. So a bronzer, well two bronzers that I've just been like so in love with this entire month. I've been using them on my nose, I've been using them on my cheekbones, I've been using them all over the place. And the first one is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have the OG Throwback Thursday packaging on this one. This is just the regular Chocolate Soleil one, and I love this so much. I did use this on my cheeks to contour today, and on my forehead, down my nose. Just, I love it so much. Beside the fact that it smells like... Mm, it is just... It's so, so good. I love the color so much. It is a bronzer, which usually I don't like bronzers to contour with. But it's just the perfect amount of like ashy tones in here that you can get away with it and it still looks so natural and so good. And I, <laughs> I thought about getting the dark chocolate soleil, but I mean, I'm so happy with this one. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have tried the dark chocolate soleil, let me know in the comments below. I know I can't try the milk chocolate because that's just going to like blend in with my skin. But I don't know about the dark chocolate soleil. The second bronzer that I use actually on top of that to deepen up my contour is by Tarte. And this is the Tarte Mineral Bronzer in Hotel Eris. And I know everybody is always talking about Park Avenue Princess, Park Avenue Princess, Park Avenue Princess. I don't really care about Park Avenue Princess. Like, I care about this. This is amazing. I love this bronzer. The thing about this bronzer, though, is that you can see there's, like, a little bit of golden, like, shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see over there. Can you? can you see that but I feel like when you use this because I do use this in my contour areas I feel like when you use it in your contour areas you don't see the shimmer and it's not like bro you have shimmer in your contour that's not a good look which is not a good look by the way and I don't feel like you see this at all so I love using this I think this color is also perfect even though it is a bronzer there's just I feel like this is not really a cool tone bronzer or a warm bronzer I feel like it's kind of neutral and I just love that about it. So this is the Tarte Park Park Avenue Princess. You see what I said? You see? You see? This is the Tarte Hotel Eras Mineral Bronzer. Something that has never really been in a favorites video of mine before, but I've had for a while now, and I kind of use it here and there, but I found a new kind of reason for me to pull this out of my collection. And this is the Charlotte Tillsbury. Tillsbury. I'm thinking about Pillsbury. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, someone's a fatty. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It's just what the packaging looks like outside. Is this not the most beautiful packaging you've ever seen? Like, don't you just want to store this on your vanity and just be like, 
Everybody look at my film star bronze and glow. This has a sculpting side and a highlighting side. I have to say the highlighting side is super gorgeous, super beautiful, but that's not what my favorite is. My favorite is actually this sculpting side. It is kind of light. It's not really dark enough for me to use on my face. But I like to use it on my nose. I'm, I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil one. But I do like to use this on my nose and I feel like it is the perfect color for my nose. Again, not the perfect color for my face, but the perfect color for my nose. It really chisels my nose out and just gives it so much dimension and shape and I just, oh, I just love it so much. I feel like if you're fair, this is going to be so ideal for you, this sculpting side, because it is light and it's super ashy toned so you can actually sculpt with it unlike the makeup forever sculpting duo where you're like what am i gonna do with this and like i said the highlight is actually super gorgeous and this trio i'm um, this trio i'm just it comes with a mirror too so it's a trio this duo is definitely worth it it is extremely pricey trust me when i saw the price i was just like wait <laughs> wait but i still decided to give it a try bit the bullet and did the damn thing and i think it is definitely worth every penny so this is the charlotte tilsbury if i say tilsbury one more time i'm so bad <laughs> charlotte tilbury bronze and glow last face product i want to talk about are highlighters you know i feel like i have highlighters in every single one of my favorites videos like every single month i have at least one highlighter to talk about right now i have one slash nine i don't know so the highlighters i'm talking about i'm sure you guys know because i've been using them all month long i even posted a review on it which i will link down below just in case and i'm talking about the ColourPop super shock cheek highlighters i'm just showing you the one that i'm wearing on my face today just because i'm not going to hold up nine highlighters that are the same exact thing i just don't think that's going to be helpful and like i said i do have a review where i swatch all of the nine that i own ColourPop did come out with 15 but i didn't purchase all 15 because the other six didn't really appeal to me so the one that I'm wearing today is Stole the Show, and it is this beautiful, beautiful, like, off-white gold type of shade. It is so beautiful. <laughs> and, like I said, I have swatches in that review video, so I'll link it down below in case you guys want to see the swatches or how they compare to one another. I love these highlighters so much. They are definitely hands down. Hands. These are my hands. Down. They are probably the most pigmented and intense highlighters that I own and I own a lot so to say that that's real life honestly if you're looking at a whole bunch of people putting on their highlighters and you're just like wow I really want those Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks or you're like wow I really want those Becca shimmering skin perfectors or any of those super expensive highlighters I would say from the bottom of my heart you don't need them and I would say you need these these are so good they are so good I, you guys I feel like I've been on a constant search to find my favorite highlighters because I like a very intense cheekbone and I feel like highlighters that show up so nicely on other people and so intensely just do not do that for me no matter what brush I use no matter what I do so I've always been kind of on a hunt to find something that's gonna be like ba bam and Here's the bam. So it's been an eyeshadow month for Katie. I mean, I mean, when it's not really an eyeshadow month, but I have a lot of eyeshadows. Surprisingly, I usually don't talk about many eyeshadows in my favorites videos, but I kind of have a lot to talk about today. So the first eyeshadows I want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> what? These are the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. I have 18 of the 20. I don't know why the hell I don't just have the other two. I mean, like what? <laughs> why but anyways these are the 18 these are 18 of the 20 the two that i don't have are they're the two new ones one is masquerade which is that purpley pink shade and the other one is like a greeny it's like a weird like a green silver i don't know those two colors i just didn't feel like getting them so these are the 18 that i have and i have been wearing these all month long and pretty much every single one of my tutorials i pull at least one of these out i filmed a tutorial using this color untamed <laughs> these are so pigmented they're so creamy they are so just they're so everything they are extremely soft so like if you stick your brush you can kind of see indentations in most of these because when you stick your brush in there like it just kind of goes like <laughs> i love i literally love all the shades like i could i pick one yeah i could i think my favorite <laughs> i think my favorite one is this one that i just recently used it's untamed it's so gorgeous it's like a copper orangey gold shade which is just like 
what it's so gorgeous honestly it's just so beautiful so you guys should watch out for that video coming up soon i think that look came out so amazing and it's definitely because of these shadows so these are the makeup geek foiled eyeshadows <laughs> i love these makeup forever artist eyeshadows you guys don't understand my obsession my obsession it's an obsession if you if you couldn't grasp that from the 10 times I just said obsession it's an obsession I love these so much I finally filled my Z palette I'm so proud of myself not really because now I'm broke and so I am so excited this is like the warmest palette ever <laughs> can you see this like I have like one cool tone shade it just like sticks out like a sore thumb it's just like <laughs> I'm all by myself in this warm ass palette I obviously I love warm eyeshadows like you guys didn't know that already and I just <sighs> they're so pigmented they're humongous I love that they're humongous and they're so pigmented and they blend out like I've never seen eyeshadows ever blend out the way these eyeshadows blend out. I have done so many looks with all these warm eyeshadows and I just, I'm just, I'm impressed every single time. Every single time I put one on my eye, I'm just like, does it get better? Does it? I don't think it does. And finally, a super random eyeshadow. I probably should have talked about this while I was talking about Makeup Geek, right? That would have made sense. But I'm going to talk about one of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This is a regular eyeshadow, and it's such a random eyeshadow. I'm going to use a brush to point to it because I'm not getting my finger dirty right now. It's just not what's going to happen. So the brush, I mean the brush, <laughs> the eyeshadow I'm talking about is right here. Right here. And if you guys can't see that, that is the black shade in the color Corrupt. It's so pigmented, like I'm scared it's going to get all over the place. This is the most pigmented black eyeshadow ever. I've been using black eyeshadow like every single look I do. Not that that should be a surprise because I'm obsessed with like super dramatic looks. And look, you see, I knew I was going to get, did you see that? Like I knew I was going to get so dirty. Damn it. It's a blessing and a curse. I have a smoky eye on today, but I actually have corrupt in the outer corner of my eye, even though it's like a black smoky eye. And I feel like you can still see that, which is crazy. Is that crazy to you? Because it's crazy to me. And I've used this in so many tutorials recently and I just cannot get enough. And I, every time I apply it, I'm like, how is this humanly possible? It's so black. It is so black. So if you guys are on the market for good black eyeshadow, because we all know MAC Carbon is like awful. This is definitely the one to give a try. And it's like $6.99, $7, $7.99, something around that range. You can't beat the price. And the foiled eyeshadows, I think, are $10. Compared to Stila's, like, $1,000, <laughs> I would say that's relatively inexpensive. Super quickly, before we get into the thousands of lip products I have to talk about this month, let's talk about these two brushes right here because I don't feel like I can do an eye look anymore without using these brushes. I love these brushes so much, like, I'm tempted to spot clean. And if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I do not spot clean my brushes, ever 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 I do not do that I just personally don't find it beneficial to myself because if a brush is dirty like I'll just put it away and use another brush and that's it I got these brushes from IMATS New York and I honestly don't know what I was doing with my life before these brushes I never owned Sigma brushes prior to going to IMATS New York and they are so good they are so good so the ones I want to talk about are the E20 the short shader which is this one right here and the E30 pencil brush which is this one right here they're both dirty because I used them both today so I'll just talk about this one first because it's it's cute and it's here so the short shader brush is so ideal for your lower lash line I purchased both of them with intentions of using them on my lower lash line and they're both so good for your lower lash line I just can't even handle how good they are I always use this one with black with corrupt most of the time and I get really close to my lash line and you can really just like smudge it out I feel like it's too tiny to pack stuff on your like lid I don't feel like I would ever personally want to do that so I really like this brush for my lower lash line I feel like you can get so so close to your actual lash line and just smudge out the color and it smudges it out so perfectly I actually like to use these in conjunction so after like I'll go in with my black I'll take this with like the second darkest color or the next darkest color that I'm wearing like today I used deep plum by Anastasia Beverly Hills to smudge out the black and I used this brush the pencil brush with the deep plum and it just smudges out so perfectly I don't know what my life was before both of these brushes I don't know how I did anything on my lower lash line because these just they changed the game for me my game 
is changed. I love these so much. So these are the Sigma Short Shader E20 and the Pencil E30 by Sigma. I said that already. It's lip product time. I have to say my absolute favorite, favorite lip product. Oh my God. I guess it's not that one because I just threw it on the floor. Well, excuse me. I have to say my absolute favorite lip product this entire month has been what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I cannot get over it. I can't get enough of it. I just can't eat fit. This is the Colored Rain Matte Lip Paint. I think that's what they're called, matte lip paints. In the color Sugar. I purchased Sugar, Marshmallow, and Soul and I was actually the least excited for Sugar because I was just like, it's just a nude, but I want the gray, give me the gray. And I actually haven't even tried Marshmallow or Soul yet, but I have tried this one, and then I've tried it again, and then I've tried it again. This is real life obsession. This is how you know that I really love this product. I wore it two days in a row, okay? For me to wear anything two days in a row, that's like a big deal. That's a big deal. So I wore it two days in a row. I wore it yesterday, and I wore it previously, and I wore it previously. I just want to wear it every single day of my life. How could you not? This is it on my lips right now. I did use it with World Lip Pencil both times that I wore it. And I just think that's the best lip pencil. Can you see like how amazing it looks? It is a very light shade. But, and even though I'm like a darker skin tone, lining your lips makes the world of a difference. And it looks so good. And obviously, you know, everybody's obsessed with liquid lipsticks right now. So... This one is probably my favorite liquid lipstick in the entire universe at the moment. I am so obsessed. In the same family with that, I'll talk about this one by Jeffree Star. This is in the color I Am Nude. I wore this in a previous video. I think it was actually in my foundation routine video, which will also be linked down below. I wore this in my foundation routine video, and this is super nude. So, like, this is sugar, and this is I Am Nude. You can tell it's noticeably neuter. And it's super light, especially for like my skin tone. Like you're probably looking at me like, <laughs> you're bugging. But, no I'm not. Line your lips. Line your lips. When I wore it, I think I used it with Beret. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Beret Lip Pencil by MAC. And it looked beautiful. Even though it is so nude. And I usually don't go for like super nude colors like this. It looked amazing and I highly suggest this to anybody who wants a nude lipstick. I would say this, this is a good option. I would suggest Sugar more just because I personally find the color more flattering and more suitable for different skin tones. Like I feel like if you're, even if you're super dark, you can wear this. But I feel like if you're super dark, then you might have to use this only for like an ombre effect type of thing if you know what I'm saying. So that's I'm Nude by Jeffree Star. I actually have Anastasia Beverly Hills Milkshake here. This is not one of my favorites, but I am going to compare the three, the three nude lipsticks I just spoke about because I know that they are all pretty much marketed as like a super nude lipstick. So I am going to swatch them all next to each other. And like I said, I have not worn Anastasia Beverly Hills Milkshake at all because I know it is the nudest of all of them. I believe it is. And so, I'm not trying that. <laughs> so, let's zoom you in, shall we? So, this one right here is the Jeffree Star I Am Nude. This one, these are like the ugliest watches I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this one is Milkshake by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then this one is the Color Rain Sugar. So, you can see next to the two super nude shades, Sugar looks super dark. And then Milkshake looks like almost white out. And then I'm nude, it's kind of just in between, just chilling, hanging out. So I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to try a milkshake, to be honest with you. That looks a little scary to me, but these are them swatched. Enjoy the swatches. Sticking with Jeffree Star, I do want to talk about another Velour Liquid Lipstick from his brand. And this one is in the color Unicorn Blood, and I love this color so much. This is like the greatest burgundy liquid lipstick that I have ever seen in my life. This is amazing what I love so much about this shade is that it's a burgundy it's noticeably a burgundy shade however little do you know that there is a lot of brown tones in this I did wear this in a get ready with me video which I will also link down below I'll link pretty much every single video on my channel down below just in case whatever so I wore this in a get ready with me video this month and it was so pretty but what I love most with this 
I like it by itself, but I really like it with this lip gloss right here by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Venom. I'm going to be honest and truthful right now. I only purchased this lip gloss because Amrezy wore it in one of her posts on Instagram. And we all know that when Amrezy posts something that she's wearing, you're just like, I'm just going to order that real quick. <laughs> BRB. And you order it because apparently you think a lipstick is going to make you look like Amrezy, which it never works. It never works. <laughs> but that's okay. So, wearing these two together is just like the perfect vampy lip combo i really love this lip gloss not only because of the color but because of the formula i hated dark lip glosses for the longest the longest time because they always like ran off my lips and ended up where i didn't want it to end up and it was just annoying and i did not like that obviously who would like that <laughs> but this formula besides the fact that it smells like so good besides the fact that it smells so good these are a little bit sticky I find them to be a little bit sticky which I am always down with I like sticky lip glosses that's just that's just me I know a lot of people really can't stand that I'm not one of those people I like it and on top of that they last a very very long time because that day I went out for many hours and came back and never had to reapply my lip gloss like that's unheard of. I highly recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses because the formula is great and they have amazing color selection and I just really love this color. This color is like purple. With, this looks like sad girl honestly in a lip gloss and I feel like on top of this it was just everything you could have imagined. Just everything. So we are at the close of my favorites video finally. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget. Please. Please. If you forget anything I say after this, don't forget this one thing. Do not forget to leave in the comment section all of your favorites for the month of May because I love to know what other people's favorites are. Like, I love favorites videos. I love them. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you did like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My name is just at kdanger underscore. It'll be... Where will it be? Will it be in this corner? I have a feeling it'll be in this corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it'll be in this corner. Watch it be on this corner and like I'll feel so dumb. Don't forget to check the description box for links to apparently everything on my channel. And don't forget to check there for everything on my face. And if you guys are wondering about this smoky eye, I got your back. I did record this for you guys. It should be up in, I don't know, I wanna say like a week from when I post this video because I do have other tutorials going up. I have a lot of videos that like I just haven't posted. I don't know what's wrong with me. But don't worry, this video will be up very soon. And I think that's all I gotta say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!